let's get things started. Ready? Go! Hello and welcome to Bounding Into Comics. My name is John Trent. I'm the founder and editor-in-chief at Bounding Into Comics. And do I have a doozy of a story for you today. KGW news reporter Destiny Johnson is upset at, quote, sexist comments on her Kelly Sue DeConnick YouTube interview. Before we get to that, I'd like to ask you to please hit that subscribe button if you are not already subscribed. If you are already subscribed, please make sure you are still subscribed. YouTube does like to unsubscribe people for whatever reason. And then hopefully you will also share this video with your friends and family. As I was saying, KGW news reporter Destiny Johnson is upset that her 2019 interview with Kelly Sue DeConnick and Matt Fraction is receiving what she claims are sexist comments. Johnson interviewed DeConnick and her husband Matt Fraction back in 2019, where the comic book creator lamented the state of the comic book industry. The interview took place just two years after DeConnick boldly told comic readers, quote, if you don't like my politics, don't buy my book. Johnson took to Twitter to express her frustration regarding the comments that are being posted on the YouTube interview. She wrote, In the exhausting battle of sexism in comics, my interview with Kelly Sue DeConnick and Matt Fraction is getting ratioed by jerks. It's a great interview with some amazing thoughtful insights, and I'm really thankful they chatted with me. Spread to the right folks. Johnson added, Sometimes it's really frustrating to be a woman on the internet and a woman journalist, but I think this pales often to be a to being a woman in comics media. I can't imagine being a writer, creator, artist in this realm, but I know comics can be so amazing and fun and good. So I try when I see overwhelming amounts of comments like this to stay positive, but Jesus Christ, it can be relentless. Johnson then took issue with Bounty into comics' coverage of her interview with Deconic and Fraction. She wrote, found this very divisive article that adds nothing to the conversation except back and forth on comments that Connick makes about worrying for the comics industry and for people who sell comics while asserting that comics will find a way to persist. Johnson then specifically tweeted at myself, writing, John F. Trent, your reporting on my reporting from two years ago has flooded the video with sexist, awful, negative comments. Instead of framing a woman who has done a ton of comics this way, you chose this, I implore you as a comics journalist to take a different road next time. We'll get back to her actual claims about the sexist, awful, negative comments that she's receiving and prove that it's a complete and utter lie. But before we get to that, she added in a subsequent tweet, particularly if my name and content are attached, thanks in advance. I responded writing, thanks for the advice, I won't be taking it. In response to this, in a moment of pure irony, Johnson echoed DeConnick's own words, if you don't like my politics, don't buy my book. This is what, she actually wrote this. This is mind-blowing that she wrote this. She said, ah yes, well we have different ideologies on inclusivity in comics, so my content isn't really for you. You can refrain from using it in the future, thanks. This is a KGW news reporter, an NBC affiliate news reporter tweeting this. This is a reporter tweeting this, saying, don't read my content, don't watch my content, because it's not for you. I only want the right folks to read my content, watch my videos. That's what she says in her first tweet, remember? She says, spread to the right folks. So she only wants certain people watching her YouTube videos. She doesn't want any kind of criticism, she doesn't want any kind of feedback whatsoever on the stuff that she's creating. She only wants positive feedback. That is what she is saying right here. And when she does get negative feedback, she lies about it and calls it sexist. So let's look at this claim that she was getting flooded with sexist comments following the publishing of our article. If you just look at the YouTube video and its comment section, it proves it false. And just as a reminder, the definition of sexism is, quote, prejudice or discrimination based on sex or gender, especially against women and girls, according to Britannica. So the top comment is from five months ago before the article was published. It reads, gee, thanks, Matt, for getting your wife into comics and ruining all that she touches. The next comment from four months ago states, if you don't like my politics, don't buy my books. Kelly Sue DeConnick. Aquaman gets canceled due to poor sales. 
The third top comment from two months ago reads, Matt Fraction to failing retailers. Envision your own market. If it can happen in Portland, it can happen anywhere. Sure, Matt, the city that prides itself on being weird and atypical. Kelly Sudaconic, turn your comic book shop into a coffee shop. Great business acumen, LOL. The fourth comment from five months ago says, comic sells down, you say, wonder why. The fifth comment, and the first one that could have been inspired by our article states, Kelly, comics are politics. If you don't like my politics, don't buy my book. People, okay. Kelly, comic sales are down, and it worries me. People, you are welcome. <laughs> the next comment says, perhaps people shouldn't be hired on their politics if they can't sell a book. Still unsure to this day why a comic book company would continue to pay someone actively losing money while exacerbating the target audience. I know several people who called this out as it was happening and got ostracized for it. Another person wrote, these guys come across like a couple who can't stand sharing a room together like they fight constantly and hate each other. It's so awkward around them. In the next comment, the user added, Shonen Jump keeps breaking records. It's not that kids aren't buying comics, they're just not buying the terrible woke ones. Still, the next comment reads, independent comic sales are down unless you're selling manga. And then the 10th the comment on the YouTube video says, I wonder when companies stop pretending this is popular and needed and just stop being allergic to profit when they fire people like this and actually start producing for the people that would buy their products. I could keep scrolling down through the YouTube comments, but you get the picture. None of these comments are sexist. None of them are prejudiced or discriminate based on sex. What these comments do show is that people are willing to criticize the conic and fraction for what they said in the interview and what they've said in past interviews. They are specifically criticizing the conic and fraction. Criticizing a person for their ideas and comments is not sexism. Destiny Johnson, you are a liar and you are a disgrace as someone claiming to be a reporter. My name is John Trent, and you've been watching Bounding into Comics.